Things habit of emotional whipsaw. <laughs> For many years, I have tried to write songs that fighters will sing, and I'm glad you're still hearing those. <laughs> Twenty years ago, I thought I'd finally done it. I wrote the North Shield Battle Chant. <laughs> Otherwise known as the great grand gory and glorious whip them into an orgasmic battle frenzy. Let's black the hills with bodies. Yeehaw! Go have pizza, North Shield do da diddy. <laughs> it had everything. A limited range. Dorian <laughs> mode. It gave a shout out to pretty much every group and had this wonderful line in Latin. Mare amathistinum. <laughs> and then those <laughs> and then those damned college kids in Nordley filked it in honor of their mascot, the Fighting Squirrels. Yes. <laughs> Go Nordley! Hear your version once again. <laughs> but I recently, about five years ago, came up with another idea. And I, this one, I think, might get some traction. It again has a relatively minor, I mean, a, a relatively limited range. It speaks to the common experience of the everyday fighter getting knocked on his backside. And it has a percussive thing where you can stomp your foot or mash a glass down or something like that. And everybody knows the chorus. I was a young newbie back in the day. I was just learning the rules. Those guys with the red belts, they're pretty good, but the white belts will take you to school. So when I got matched up one versus one with a guy with a black belt like mine, nobody told me that he had earned it way back in AS29. No shit. There I was. Flat on my back and staring at stars. No shit. There I was. Don't know how I got here. Will somebody get me a beer? <laughs> well, after a few years, I'm doing okay. I'm no longer playing the fool. I go do a demo for some bunch of kids at some elementary school. <laughs> me and my opponent, we put on a show. It's loud and it's cool and it's sweet. Then he does this spin thing with his pole arm, and I'm looking up at my feet. No shit. There I was, flat on my back and staring at stars. No shit. There I was, don't know how I got here. Will somebody get me a beer? I was surrounded by two chucks deep in the woods, nary a chance of escape. I was hoping for rescue by House Morning Star, or maybe some guy in a cave. <laughs> when they finally rushed me, I let out a yell that put Roland's bugle to shame. There's our 5013 C reference. <laughs> I may be outnumbered, but if I'm going down, I'm gonna kick ass and take names. No shit. There I was, flat on my back and staring at stars. No shit. There I was. Don't know how I got here. Will somebody get me a beer? Now, I certainly realize that the only way I'll get strawberry leaves on my head is if somebody tosses my corpus face first into a strawberry bed. Yeah, I'm just a fighter, a shield in the wall, and I might never excel. But the beer is still cold, and the ladies are warm, and oh, the stories I tell! No shit. There 